Hello everyone, welcome back to the Postman tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to see how to create a post request. In order to create a post request, either we can directly go to the new and create a request or we can select a particular select collection and select the three icons here, three dot icon and click on the add request. We need to give the name to this request. So I'll mention create party as a name because this is a creation process hence we have to use the post as a http method so i will provide some description here create party record using full name so we'll just pass a parameter called full name in order to create that request for now we need to have a existing web service which can be used to create a new record. I'm going to use a existing hosted web service uh, for which I have the URL. I will just pass as a parameter to the request. Click on the save sample collection. You can use any other web service which is hosted in your environment or it can be in public domain. Now the sample request is created. Click on that. Now we can see in the screen the get request is created, but we are going to use the post method. So select in the drop down post as a method and then we'll pass the URL. Then we have to provide the header. The header is something where if you have any parameters which you need to pass to this request, you have to provide in this header. It is in key value format. If you want to upload a number of header fields then you can use the bulk edit but this is a single request will and has a single parameter so i'll just use the key value pair system name and then provide the value so these values are important it's based on what kind of web service you're using based on that you can provide this value now we provided the header and one more thing the web service which we are going to use is a rest web service if there is a soap based web service, the format will be different, which we can see in our upcoming lecture. So this is REST web service. I will just pass one parameter system name as a admin. Then we have to go to the auth and make sure we have provided the authorization. Right now there is no authorization provided. So I will select this drop down. This particular web service, which I'm going to use requires authentication or authorization so i'll provide the basic authorization for this so i can see uh, i provided the username and it's a corresponding password now these are the two sections we have to provide some basic information headers and authorization the next thing is body section this body section is totally depend on your hosted web service so you have to make sure you have the the definition of what are the fields present in that hosted web service which you can give uh, you which you can get from the web service provider once you go to the body section select the what kind of data you are going to use whether it's xml or it's a json etc if it is xml or json select the raw as a type and from the text you can select text json javascript html or xml i'm going to use a json message to post this information so i'm going to select json and here we need to prepare the json message it starts with the open curly bracket and as soon as, as, soon as i hit enter button it creates the the closing curly bracket this request requires at least one important parameter called as the key parameter which is as per the definition of the web service then colon and then i have to pass its a value this web service requires a column called as a source key and we have to provide some unique value that to that key let me provide unique value as admin and I'll use first and I'll use zero. 
once the one parameter is passed we have to pass the second parameter here i will pass just one parameter that is full name you can provide as many parameters as you want but for demo purpose i'll just use this simple full name as parameter and the example i'm giving here it is a jode do now in case if you have any syntax error for example if i do not use at the comma at the end of first letter this postman console will give the error message like this red sign so it says expected comma instead of quotes so i'll just use a comma so this is very helpful information while preparing the message once you provide authorization header and body and the url at the top of the post request we are set to execute this request done let's go ahead and click the send button if everything is good as per the request header and authorization perspective then we'll get the response if you see the status of this request is a 200 that means it is okay it executed in time 4.63 seconds and the size of that response is 897 bytes so we got the data let's go ahead and click on the preview so this way we created a record and this it generated the unique id products 260007 and this is kind of id we passed and it is returning another id based on our a response structure of that web service and this way we can confirm we can create a post request using postman